Hey guys, Dio Gen Z here for Gamers Cast with my review of BitTrip Core. BitTrip Core is the second to come out in the BitTrip series, and instead of being a Pong styled game like the first BitTrip, BitTrip Beat, was, this one takes a kind of, di- kind of different approach. It has you set up on a kind of four quadrant plane in which you use the directional pad to hit the beats in combo with the two button. In doing this with succession, you'll rack up a high score, but of course guys, no online leaderboards being the Wii. Now the gameplay, I felt, was very addictive. However, I've talked to a few people who have the game, and they definitely said it it is ranked up in difficulty from Beat. Where Beat was kind of more open, and in my opinion for the casual crowd, Bitcher Core is exactly what its name references. It's a hardcore title. If you are not into difficult titles, you might want to put this one aside and stick with Bitrip Beat. However, I found the gameplay to be very addictive. Uh, I found it to be a lot like Guitar Hero, even more so than Beat was on some portions where you're hitting multiple beats uh, with on the same same bar. The art style of Core remains 8-bit and also gets increasingly more vivid and rainbow colored when you progress successfully through the levels. Of course, if you don't, you go into the nether region where is it's just black and white in the very base level arcade mode, but this is just a staple of the Bitrip series. However, Core is definitely darker than Beat was. Uh, you find luminous shadows lurking over you and Commander video is not just flying through space all happy-go-lucky anymore. It's somewhat of a uh, an escape mission, I almost feel. Uh, but you you know, as as all the Bit Trip series games, you can interpret it any way you want. That's just mine. Uh, however, you can't deny that it is definitely a darker style game, and I think for the better. Uh, of course, with the darker style game uh, visuals comes along a darker soundtrack. Uh, wonderful 8-bit compositions, which will change depending upon how you play the game. If you're doing particularly well, like I mentioned before, you'll go from hyper to mega to super, in which, you know, has much more vivid art styles and the soundtrack changes along with it. It gets a lot more fuller, and the uh, the antithesis of that is if you're doing poorly, you go- fall into the nether mode, which is kind of the last-ditch effort you have to try and redeem yourself and get back on top. As I mentioned earlier in the review, Bitrip Core utilizes the D-pad and the 2-button on the Wii Remote, and that's all. No nunchuck, no motion, nothing of that sort. Which, in a way, kind of makes it a bit less Wii exclusive. Now, what I mean by this is no, you know, obviously you're you're not going to find Bitrip Core on 360 or PS3 or any of the other handhelds or consoles. However, it's easily replicated on any of the consoles or handhelds because it only uses the D-pad and the 2-button. You know, you could translate that to, say, another Nintendo product, the DSi. You could use the D-pad there and the A-button. Uh, you know, just not even paying attention to size issues and restrictions there. Uh, you know, Bitrip Core doesn't really utilize any of the Wii's functions, you know, to its to its benefit. Uh, it's a tightly it's a tightly woven game. I never found any of the beats to be mischarted or any anything like that. But it's just a shame that Core really didn't use any of the Wii's features to make it a strong Wii title. You know, it is a WiiWare title, of course, but it's not signature Wii. And that's just a shame. Even considering that minor upset, I'm giving Bitrip Core an 8.2 out of 10. Now... If you watched my Bitrip Beat review, which I gave Bitrip Beat an 8.5 out of 10, you'll notice that Core is just slightly scored below Beat. And the reason for this is I have to be unbiased when doing reviews. Personally, as a hardcore gamer, I found Core to be a lot more of a challenge and in turn a lot more enjoyable. However, I gotta consider everybody overall, including casual gamers, including hardcore gamers, and what people would, you know, how much enjoyment you guys would get out of this. So that's why I'm giving Bitrip Core an 8.2 and not higher or the same as Bitrip Beat. You know, it is a, uh, it's a difficult game. I don't recommend getting this game if you're uh, a casual gamer. It's just not the game for you. Go to Bitrip Beat. 
However, you if you are a hardcore gamer and you're looking for an excellent music game challenge and you're tired of playing Guitar Hero and Rock Band and you've seen it all, then definitely pick Bit Trip Core up. You know, it's a great 8-bit uh, music game that, you know, it's really fun and addicting. And that's all I got to say about that. <laughs>